Being able to bend a scroll over the edge of the anvil is a really good skill for any blacksmith. But sometimes you need to be able to see it top down so you can see it more clearly as you bend it, especially as things start to get bigger, or if you're just bending circles or ovals or some other shape. In that case, a bending fork really comes in handy. Now I should say bending forks because they're often used in pairs with one either in the anvil or the vise and one that's handheld. For the most part, the thing that most bending forks have in common is the two parallel tines or teeth that actually form the fork. It pays to have a variety of these things. These are handheld forks with different spacing, depending on what size material you're working and how gradual or tight a bend you need. It's really common for these things to be used in a vise, and I have some that are specifically meant for vise use. And sometimes it's handier to just have one that fits in the hardy hole of the anvil. And any of these can be forged or fabricated. Probably the simplest form of a bending fork is simply a round bar bent into a U-shape and used in the vise. And these simple bending forks make a great jig for bending things like hooks. Because they're so simple, you can make them in any size you need. You need one that's made out of one inch round bar? Start with a piece of one inch round bar. Quarter inch round? Start with quarter inch round. Whatever it is you need, you're a blacksmith. You can make some of these tools. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found the information useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. It costs you nothing to subscribe to a YouTube channel. It just lets YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos here at Black Bear Forge. If you'd like to see how some of these other bending forks were made, I've done some videos over on the main Black Bear Forge channel, and I'll link to a playlist of those videos right down here. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.